months here on CBS 2, we've been trying to get to the bottom of mail problems, mail fails, missing medications, sensitive documents disappearing, Christmas gift no-shows. It was all a part of the U.S. Postal Service's failure last fall and winter that left customers at their wits end. More than seven months later, has anything improved? CBS 2's Marie Saavedra went looking to find out. It was late November. Nothing, <laughs> as per usual when Pauline Scott had had enough. My husband's license plates and city stickers have not arrived. She was one of hundreds we heard from. No mail. Whose mail was just not showing no. up. <laughs> Since then, she's had a baby and gained new perspective on the problems with shipping in her Northside neighborhood. I wanted to really make sure that we had some kind of measurement. Scott herself put together a poll last winter sent out on social media to gauge her neighbor's postal service from the Rogers Park office. More than 130 responded, saying more than 60% of packages were late or never delivered, and the majority who called for help couldn't get anyone to pick up the phone. And most people had had trouble with the post office for at least three years. So that told me, you know, this isn't COVID, this isn't staffing, this isn't um, the new Postmaster General of the United States. So eight months later, has anything changed? Scott says yes. We have a mail carrier um, consistently. We have service consistently and we regularly receive mail, unlike last year. We asked USPS what it's been doing these last few months to help address these many problems, but a spokesperson denied our request for an on-camera interview. Instead, he sent a statement saying USPS does believe its service has continued to improve. We know of one effort. In June, the post office set up customer service hotlines specifically for Mount Greenwood and Morgan Park, two of the city's worst trouble spots for delivery. USPS says they are getting calls, and Scott hopes those residents are getting the results she is. But uh, she's not done keeping like tabs. I do plan on doing the survey again in about four to six months to see where we're at right before the holidays. <laughs> in Rogers Park, Maurice Vedra, CBS 2 News.